sound system, so now we don't have to beg and plead for a sound system. All of this happens because of sponsors. We can stand here all night and thank sponsors. So what we're going to do first, as you can see, we've got a lot to give away. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, Kitchen Creations raffles right this second. And you got four different raffles, sir. Okay, she's been a great sponsor. She does this every year. Uh, raises money for True Smoke Barbecue. She raised $600. She split it with True Smoke. And we got 300 bucks for the smoke out. So to put with the rest of it. Which will be coming in the end of October. So, all right, so let's go ahead and do the first one. What's going to raffle first? All right, we'll do the clock first right here. Gotcha. I didn't for the clock. I didn't Just for one now, just one. A lot of people must have bought into this raffle, so... John Cantwine, J3, there's a clock, John, John Kearney, I get it, John Kearney, <laughs> I learned, I've almost stopped learning, but not completely, <laughs> okay, let's do number two. The men's adult Easter basket. Fireball. That's all I remember. That's why I remember. Buttercup! Yeah. I just wanted a fireball. <laughs> Your Lord, can I have some fireball with you? Thanks for supporting. Appreciate it. All right, number three. Watch out, Linda. The ladies' adult Easter basket. Good. Jessica Smith. Jessica Smith. All right. See how bad my driving skills are. Bullet decanter set. I finally learned how to say that. There we go. Yeah. I screwed it up last year. Yes, you, did. you can also have this customized with uh, engraving of what you want on it, right? Yep. All right. Huh? I don't know. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> And they both reach their hand in. All right, let's do one. Five, eight. Don't, no, 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 no. Let's do this again. Y'all remember that, right? What was it? Five, eight, one, one, seven, nine, three. Five, eight, one, one, seven, nine, three. Back here? We got a winner? Five, eight, one, one, seven, nine, three. Oh! All right. Yeah, huh? Is it yours? <laughs> All right, good job. Thanks a lot for supporting, man. Job, Chuck. She knows it's over. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Let's give Sarah Kitchen a big hand. All right, we want to thank some sponsors. John Kearney, if you will, please come up here just a minute. He was telling me everybody, everybody to thank, and I'm like, dude, you're going to have to send me a text. Uh, so I was like, no, nah, you just come up here and do it yourself. Hey, guys, just want to let you all know, um, Jeff, J3, Chris Hatcher, Myself and several more of us, um, we're going to feed you all tonight once all the rewards are done. Um, high on the hog, donated all the beans and the potatoes tonight. The country boys, they helped us cook. They donated all the chicken that we're going to eat tonight. I don't know how much chicken is. Yeah, chicken's high, Jack, I'm telling you. Uh, but, you know, just thank these guys. Uh, 
Brian Stevenson, you know that guy who makes the seasonings? <laughs> we got Queen B on that, I mean that's some good stuff. So thank him. Um, the, the, uh, the barbecue sauce was donated by who, Hatcher? Triple B. Triple B donated the barbecue yeah. sauce. So, so Brandon, he claims we got some good sauce in that chicken. So it's award winning what I was told. But uh, everybody, what we're going to do, we, we've got a team that's going to get up there after after awards. We're going to make plates, so everything's going to be in a takeout plate tonight, okay? So you come by and get you a plate, and y'all have a good time tonight. All right, so we were going to do an auction. We'll have to wait the next time. Our auctioneer isn't present, and it's so much better when he does it. Not So uh, if Ryan decides to do that at the end, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to do it, so that's that's for sure. Okay, so has everybody had a great time this weekend? So this is our eighth event in three years. That's insane, and we have this much and sometimes more come out. I think we would have had a whole lot more spectators if the weather had to cooperate a little bit. I'm sure people were a little shy to come out. But it's a beautiful evening. It's not over after the awards. We have the meal, like we said. We have the band coming up. And we got the great awards. Look at all these prizes. Can, can look at all this? This is where I always give away a lot of stuff, but they have way outdone whatever I've given away to anyone. You never have to have one person come help you take stuff back. You're going to need two people to come help you take stuff back. All right, so um, again, I want to say one more time, I want to thank uh, Mr. Chris Hatcher for allowing us to use his property for this. If you see any trash on the ground, please pick it up. Take it to any of these campsites, and they'll throw you throw it away in their trash bag. All right, without further ado, the man that put all the legwork into this, and there's a hell of a lot goes into this stuff, I'm telling you. He won't get the pressure off of it until this award ceremony is over. Short Smoke Season has done an outstanding job making and running this competition. Let's give Ryan Stevenson and Nicole Stevenson and Short Smoke a big hand. Yeah! Thank you guys. We had a blast. To say it was stressful is an understatement, but it was a it was a hell of a good time. So thank you guys for everything. We got a ton of support. Um, look at all this. The sponsors did this. We didn't just do this. We have so many sponsors, so please check them out. I will be posting them again at the end. Just so everybody knows, I will also be posting all the scores when I get home. It's just too much to do right now. So when I get home on Monday, I'll post it so everybody can see exactly where they placed. Which home? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Delaware home. Sorry. All right. So um, I just want to thank a couple people. Uh, of course, Chris Hatcher uh, and his family, Jenny and his kids. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to come here every time. It's awesome. Thank you to J3, Country Boys, everybody, uh, Triple B, who's donating for the dinner. Uh, the homecoming meal was amazing. Thank you guys for hanging in with the weather. Uh, of course, David Watkins for trusting us to actually run this thing and get it done properly. So thank you for that, and thank you for all you do. Um, admins, please give the admins and admin wives a round of applause because they go through just as much. So. Thank you to my daughters who were a blessing while they were here, so thank you. Uh, my mother for helping out, uh, and of course my beautiful wife, thank you as well. I uh, couldn't do it without you, so thank you. She makes you look good, my wife. Oh, I know, I'm married up. I ain't ashamed. And she's totally embarrassed, and she's right there, by the way, too. And huge shout out to Fussels for the dumpster, because that came in clutch. And thank you to my mother, actually. She donated the Porta Johns as well. So without that, that is huge. All right, so uh, Sam Vic, Sam Summerlin, come on up. They uh, sponsored the wing competition. Um, so SLS Customs and Sam Wow will be giving uh, the prize. Alright, so we'll start with wings for third place. Third place wings. Real Fly Pit Crew. Hey, I got 
We will take pictures. So actually, we want you to tell us what you cooked as well. So um, we cooked a um, chicken wing on the Weber. <laughs> uh, we call it a dirt. <laughs> we, it's a secret, man. No, it's uh, basically a dirty South sexy mama with. Um, some homemade, yeah, that was the rub with the uh, homemade ranch and uh, mamba sauce. Yeah. All right. Second place wings. J3. I did a taco stuffed chicken wing with um, short, smoke, short smoke seasoning on the outside. <laughs> Competition. Pork Island Park. Bear Creek. Yeah. All right, I cooked a uh, sweet chili wing with Alabama sauce drizzle on a 30-year-old Brinkman. Competition. Third place. Ladies competition, by the way, was sponsored by the Country Boys. So thank you for doing that as well. Third place. What's up, Buttercup? Uh, I made a Southwest cheese stick pierogi and it was delicious. <laughs> All right, second place, Hannah Singletary. Hey, girl, hold on a minute. Let me get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Hannah from the Country Girls, and um, I made a buffalo chicken stuffed jalapeno popper wrapped in bacon. Yeah! First place, ladies' competition. All right, first place, ladies' competition. Hogwaller! Uh, 
and we made barbecue, slaw, and cornbread. All right, we are moving on to taco now. So, third place taco. Oh, no, he was good. Real Fly Pit Crew. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so for the tacos, um, we made a uh, birria taco with um, short ribs and chuck roast. It took about seven, eight hours for the meat, and then uh, piled it on with a bunch of ingredients on, um, finished it off on the black song. Second place taco competition. J3! Yeah! 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 Okay. Hey, good job, baby. That taco was yeah. fire, man! Yeah. Yeah. It was, he did a video taco. A what taco? A video oh. taco. Okay, okay. All right, so we did the same thing as Real Fly. We did Berea Tacos. Oh, um, just did it better. Yeah, we did it better. I'm going to be honest with you. I let mine cook straight for eight hours. I didn't touch it until it was done. I made it like Hesuela's grandma did 80 years ago. Uh, I did a lot of research on it. First time I've ever made this. And I've got a feeling my wife's going to have to have it at least once a week. So, Woo! J3 Barbecue, baby. Appreciate it. What's up, Buttercup? Uh, <laughs> I made a shish taluk taco. It is a Lebanese taco with refried bean hummus, tabbouleh, and shish taluk. International now. So third place, international. Pork Island Barbecue. Yeah! And it's your first time coming to one of our events, right? I don't know. We'll try. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Jim House Pork Island Barbecue from uh, New Jersey. We did uh, a traditional shepherd's pie, ground man, uh, shallot, garlic, and mashed potatoes. All the way from New Jersey. <laughs> All right, second place international. Hogwaller! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
I made pot stickers and she cooked. <laughs> What's up? Hey man, bro. <laughs> First place international. Diana from Smoking Skies. strawberry jam, homemade whipped toppings, sprinkled with um, powdered sugar and grated chocolate bar. Alright, so we're going to move on <laughs> to breakfast. Alright, today's competitions. All right, so third place. You're going to need to come back up here. Diana, smoking skulls. Um, I made... Cinnamon, oat, pecan, encrusted French toast. Oh. <laughs> All right, second place, breakfast. What's up, Buttercup? Uh, so I made a burner burger, and it's this is the first time my dad's recipe has ever been entered in a cop. So it's a sweet burger with a French toast bun, uh, bacon, quail egg, and cheese, and hot honey. First place breakfast. Real fly pick crew. For breakfast, um, we took a combination of biscuits and gravy and chicken and waffles. So the waffle was made out of a biscuit, and then we fried the chicken, topped it with some bourbon infused um, maple syrup, and then we topped it with the sausage white gravy with a little bit of Mike's hot honey. Get your butt over here. It was, a, it was an epiphany at 5 a.m. All right, right now we're stepping into the kids' competition. Wedge just this around right here. So uh, we love the, the kids. We're going to have the kids' competition at every single event. We love getting the kids involved. We're never going to leave you out. You do an awesome job. Sponsored by Desiree. What's up, Buttercup? Check her out. Follow her on TikTok and Facebook. Give her a like. All right. Third place in the kids' competition. We had a tie. Jackson Carter and Keely Turner. Okay, 
we got we got a cash prize for you. He's, he's been third place. He's been there. Yeah, twenty five each. Okay. All right. Okay. okay, you guys. You guys. All right. So, all right. You want to say you want to say what you made? Okay. Turn around. Tell everybody what you made. I made chicken tacos. Chili steak burrito. Congratulations there. Second place, Aaliyah Daughtry. I made a shrimp curry. Shrimp curry. And she knew I couldn't eat shellfish, so she made a chicken curry and let me have some. Thank you. It was awesome and delicious. All right, first place. I'm telling you, these kids' competitions are tight, super tight. We got another tie for first place. Bill Stevenson and Heavy and Ready. I made sausage jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon. And that was heavy and ready, and this is Bella Stevens. I made shrimp street corn taco bowls. Yeah. Wonderful said. I'll just give these kids another round of hand. Dad moment, by the way. Yeah. Woo! And she did it with seafood, so how, how proud can I be, right? Alright, so next we have the mixed drink competition, which was sponsored by uh, Henry and Nikki from Off the Rack Barbecue, wherever they're floating around. They were coming out, I guess not. Alright, so Third place, mixed drink, Sam Summerlin. I wasn't cheating. I made a uh, pig picking cake drink. Hey, that was good. And it was fire. <laughs> it was freaking awesome. Sorry, defending champion. <laughs> All right, second place, Real Fly Pit Crew. So, yeah, we made a, um, it's called the Larkin. Um, it was inspired by someone that I know. Um, it's basically, yeah, <laughs> it's basically a um, pineapple, mango, puree, coconut rum type 
mixed drink with some uh, Paradise Party from Short Smoke Seasonings around the rim. Let's go. First mixed drink winner. Repeat champion. Um, I made drunk bunnies and um, a shot of vodka, two shots of Kahlua, a shot of espresso, and we added some Yoohoo for chocolate flavor. In a chocolate bunny. Yeah. Wait till you see those pictures. It's literally a drilled hole in a chocolate bunny filled with alcohol. All right, where's Ed Swinson? All right, come on up, Ed. Watch out, Buttercup. You think we got it? Diana, come make me your stuff. She didn't even want to I wasn't going to do seafood. You didn't want to do it. So I hope we Well, I'll roll. You walk. <laughs> Don't run over my brain. <laughs> okay, I'll go. All right. Third, we're moving on to the seafood competition now. Okay. Uh, it was sponsored by Shore Smoke and Ed Shape Shack. So we have the stuff out here. All right. Third place, Real Fly Pit Crew. I made a uh, crab and scallop. Uh, homemade Rangoon with uh, cream cheese and some Worcestershire sauce and some Japanese barbecue sauce and then I made a dip that was uh, like a sweet red pepper red pepper dip high five yeah <laughs> alright second place Get called for first, then all of our hopes and dreams are lost, and we can drink. Jimmy Craig, Barbecue, New Jersey. Uh, we did a uh, big toysters, and in the Perno, we did use a little of the uh, ocean. Short smoke, ocean pursuit. For first place, I'm going to let Ed tell you what the main prize is. So this is just so everybody's got something to look at. But uh, Ryan and I came together and said, well, what would be the coolest first prize 
that actually gives you something other than something just to take home. So we're going to give you a gift that keeps on giving. First place gets a day of cooking lessons with Henry Jones and Off the Rack Barbecue to be determined later. And we'll let you know the details as things come from. First place, where's Aaron with Country Boys? Where you at, Aaron? There you go, bud. That's what I'm talking about. Holy cow. I made a stuffed mushroom with um, crab, cream cheese, and se um, J Jason's seasoning. Yeah! And hold on, how many times have you competed? This is my first. Get a picture with you. You want one up here? Come on. That's a great prize for a beginning cook. Awesome. Okay, so we had a little contest last night a lot of people don't even know about. Uh, we, Paul Seabird and Ryan Stevenson have jawed back and forth about who makes the best hot dog. So they had a little uh, competition last night. Three of us got together, three random people, and we judged. And uh, I'm here to say right now that the winner of the head-to-head -head hot dog competition is Paul Seabird! Okay, I, uh, I made a uh, bacon wrapped hot dog uh, with a uh, cheesesteak topping and then a uh, special peach salsa that uh, if anybody wants a recipe, I'll, I'll sell it to them. But, uh, anyway, thank you. So we also had another little competition today that was kind of fan voted. Uh, it was the Spatchcock Chickens uh, between Tim Coble and David Watkins. So we had a public vote. So get out here. We have a t-shirt for the loser to wear tonight that will be presented on stage with the band later. Robert Chicken. Where's Miss Buddha? Come up here, Miss Buddha. Where are you at? 
So she made this. Tell them what it is. A chicken costume. Okay. So the loser will get surprised with the t-shirt later. But they will be wearing that. On stage. Alright. Second place. Chuck did want me to announce that he is accepting new applications for his team as well. And in first place, David Watkins. All right, so now we're going to just finish up with the top, with the eight teams from the uh, Chop Challenge. Did you guys like watching that? Was that any good? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Jeff. <laughs> Actually, we have one more award to do prior. It was the Tipsy Bottle sponsored by Gridiron Junkies. So we had second place winner was Team Sam Summerlin. So come on up. And then first place, Real Fly Pit Crew. Oh, no. to the chop showdown. Alright. So eighth place. GG Pop, come on up. some bourbon soaked apples on top and You're of some people on top. Give him a round of applause. Alright. Seventh place. Smoking Bones. Timmy, you want to say anything? Clump, clump. <laughs> hey. Come on, baby. Hey. All right, so um, we took the cheese and rolled it in some crackers that I've been giving out over here with a jalapeno uh, seasoning on it. Uh, cooked the uh, R.D. Jones jalapeno sausage, took it out of the casing, rolled it in some uh, cattle dust. Put it back on the grill. We tried frying it, and it just wouldn't hold together. But uh, 
we put it uh, on the grill, and then we took the, the peeps, melted it in there with the uh, orange juice, made a syrup. That's pretty much it. Hey. <laughs> Great job. All right, sixth place. Country Girls! We did a jalapeno sausage, shrimp and grits with a nice drizzle and a side of toast. Boom, baby! Okay, so just so everybody knows what the four ingredients were, it was our sponsor, R.D. Jones Jalapeno Sausage, uh, a block of sharp cheddar, a tropical fruit punch kids high C juice box, and the uh, peeps, peep, Easter peeps. So they came up with some great recipes for that. So. All right, fifth place. Where them boys at? Get a uh, chewy pie, which is basically just sausage and chicken. Um, we did mix a little bit of shrimp with cheese dip on top. Fourth place, quadruple B. pizza with the sausage and ponzu sauce, soy sauce, fire roasted poblano, caramelized onions, uh, and mushrooms, and the cheese. And then we did a tropical uh, sushi burrito. We reduced the marshmallows down, and then we poached the pears in the tropical high sea and made it into a delicious little sushi burrito, and we drizzled it with that raspberry chipotle sauce from Triple B. All right, third place. Off the rack barbecue. We did it. Oh, because we need more spots. That's my ball of blueberries. I got that. One or two. One or two. You take that. You take it. The chop challenge. Um, so we did a uh, traditional ramen. Uh, we had a pork tenderloin and we used the ingredients that they had given us as well. We actually took the peeps and the high C and reduced it down and made a barbecue sauce that we brushed onto the pork and the Artie Jones sausage. With the ramen, when we made the broth, we added the cheese into the broth with the ramen. Um, and we just did a nice little presentation we turned it in. It's a fun little cook. A lot of fun. There you go. And then there was two. All right, I need real flying J3 up here. Oh! 
All right, before they come up, we just want to say thank you again to all the sponsors. You guys were incredible. Uh, you know, we got Cap's trailer for the music, everybody that donated for the band, sauces, seasonings, everything you can imagine, gift baskets, mixed drink stuff. Thank you guys incredibly so much. We had a blast. Um, so without further ado. All right, so I couldn't think of a better way to do it than just announce who got first place and kind of leave it instead of just doing second, so. First place for the 2023 Shore Smoke Seasonings Chop Showdown. First place goes to J3. Real fly, let us know what you cook. Second place. Uh, so I made a homemade uh, fettuccine Alfredo, and then we took the sausage and the cheese, put a little cheese in the Alfredo, uh, mixed the rest of it with the sausage and the meatballs, smoked them. Then I made a um, mushroom and uh, red wine reduction sauce. I put the meatballs in that. That was on the side. And then we made a dessert. So the dessert, uh, we melted the uh, peeps down into a reduction and um, took some cinnamon buns and basically made it into a marshmallow monkey bread. And then we took the high seed and mixed it in with some blueberry juice that we crushed up and uh, put it on the top for a little tartness for the sweetness. Congrats, guys. And first place, would you cook? All right, so we made a Italian dinner. So we took the. Uh, it's it's a really long, but anyway, so we took the jalapeno sausage, and we kept half of it in the case, separated the other half, rendered that in a that's a more a vinaigrette to pull the jalapeno out of it, made meatballs out of that, took a box of uh, mac and cheese that we had laying around, dumped the cheese out, kept the noodles, made a rendered spinach, uh, Italian pasta with the cheese that we had to use, made a meat sauce with the ground jalapeno sausage, with a citrus base to pull the jalapeno out of that, because jalapeno and Italian really don't mix too well. Does it though? It does now. Um, then we took the peeps, and the uh, high seed juice we rendered that all the way into an italian dressing and another shot of lemon lime to kill the peeps because um, it's too sweet and that was the drizzle over the meatballs with the shredded shark cheddar mixed in with some asiago cheese that we had and uh plated it with a baguette with the cheese and some more drizzle on the bread and the meatballs and the cheese and the bread all went together with all the other pasta. That's all we did. All right, congratulations. All right, so a couple more things. Um, do us a favor, thank you again, first of all. Um, I'm gonna let Mr. Hatcher go first. Once again, uh, thank every one of you for coming out. Uh, Jenny and I are, are very appreciative of how you treat us, uh, our land, the whole community. Uh, we do this for us, not not me and her, for us. Everybody that's here, so if you see her, tell her thank you. If you see my kids, tell them thank you. We do it for True Smoke Barbecue. I have something to do, so. So 
Well, let's uh, have a good time, clean up. The party doesn't start, uh, stop till tomorrow morning, so keep going. All right, and David Watkins has a few announcements to go ahead and end it for you. I was going to say, that's the first thing you've ever won. Never won anything, True Smoke Barbecue. How about that? All right, so they've got 650,000 pounds of chicken that they cooked over here on uh, our donated smoker, cooker, whatever we got over there that, that just is going to end up being just a great addition. It already is to True Smoke Barbecue. So... Once uh, I turn this off, I want to thank everybody for coming out. We are going to have the fourth annual Tree Smoke Barbecue Smokeout in October, either the last weekend or the next of the last weekend in October. I'll make a post and let everybody know about that. So um, we're going to have Adam here, Ben, start playing in just a minute, but everybody can go ahead, hang out, give us about 15 minutes. All the food will be plated. We'll line up single file down here at the cooking station. And everybody will be able to get a plate and let's enjoy, enjoy the music. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, we got one more raffle. We got one more raffle. You guys bought tickets. Uh, Stephanie Buddha has been making things. She's been here since the, her family since the first event. She's growing up in Church Smoke Barbecue, but she's handcrafting some things and Selling them. I hope you guys supported her. She's, she's doing a great thing. I'm pretty sure she'll bring more stuff out of the smoke out. But she had a raffle. Did you have good success with the raffle? Cool. All right. So, however you want to do it. For the dog basket? All right. Where's the dog basket? This one? Number 22. Number 22. 22. Ticket number 22.